another week of henna. So this week what we are going to be doing is making another painting. And so for this painting I really wanted to try something new. And so we're kind of going for a messy geometrical book where we'll have little windows where I want you guys to try to fill it, fill in those windows with your own henna designs. Um, so I made mine. I kind of went with a UK theme. So I made mine UK blue with white. And as you can see, we kind of have like these little spaces that are specifically kind of cut out with like the white lines in the middle. And so like I purposely went for a book where it was kind of smudgy and messy. But again, like I'll kind of walk you guys through it and we can change. I'll tell you where you can change things to kind of get a different look. So basically, this is kind of what we're going for. I went for UK Blue. You don't have to, so kind of maybe think through what color scheme you want and what type of patterns you want. I really wanted to be blue and white, kind of messy, smudgy look. Um, but if you guys want cleaner lines, I'll tell you how to do that. If you want to maybe think about what filling designs you want inside of the areas, we can talk about that. I really liked leaving a lot of blank space. You can see there's a lot of dark blue on mine. I didn't fill in each empty shape with a design um, because I just liked and preferred that look. But again, if you want to fill in every single little area, you definitely can do that. And I will absolutely talk you guys through how to do that and what to change from what I did to get a different look. But just be thinking about it. And for today, you're going to need a canvas, some paints, a paintbrush, and some tape. And that's it. We're going to get started. Alright, so to begin, I want you to get that tape. And I just use plain old scotch tape. But you can use painter's tape as well. I think that might work a little better. I just didn't have any on hand. And so I used scotch tape. Um, it was a little wide for me, so I used scissors to cut it down the middle to get thinner lines of tape. And I'm literally just kind of putting the tape down randomly on my canvas to try to divide it up into geometrical areas. So go ahead and do that. There is no right way to do it. I'm just literally randomly placing the tape. So. Go ahead and get your canvas covered in tapes. You can make the areas as big or small as you want them to be. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so for this part, after you have your canvas covered in tape, go ahead and pick out your paint. So I went with a UK theme. I'm using blue paint. This is where you guys can change it up. So if you don't want to do blue, you can pick another color. You can also paint each of those geometrical areas made by dividing up the tape a different color so that it's kind of like a more colorful black background. So feel free to add your own spin on it. But yeah, just go ahead and get that canvas covered and then we're gonna let it dry.
Once your canvas has dried, you can go ahead and peel off the tape. So I didn't let my canvas dry all the way because I kind of wanted a smudgy taped appearance. I wanted it to bleed a little bit. So I let it dry for about five minutes and then I started peeling off the tape and you can see I'm getting lines but they're not like crisp and clean. If you want to go for crisp clean lines, I would let that canvas dry all the way. So maybe walk away for 30 minutes go do something else, and then come back and remove your tape. But go ahead and get all the tape off of your canvas, and then we're going to start painting in our little geometrical areas. So of course I'm going to use white paint, as you guys saw, because I'm going for that UK theme again. But you are free to use any color paint you want, and of course you don't have to follow the designs with me either. Feel free to like add your own henna designs or whatever you want to add in. Alright guys, so we're almost there. Um, the paint that I'm using now is just the white Walmart acrylic paint, again, that I've been using. So I'm going to pour some of it out, and I'm going to get a thin paintbrush, and I'm going to start making designs. And so I will talk you guys through the designs I'm making, but you are totally welcome to make your own designs, change it up a bit. If you don't want to go for the henna design look, you can make them geometrical. You can just fill it in with lines, polka dots, so definitely make this painting your own. But I'm starting with a paisley design in one of my bigger geometrical areas, and I'm just going to fill it up with paisleys and leaves. So no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing what I'm doing. We're just going to start painting and see where this painting goes. So now I finished up my paisleys and I'm going to go to another area. I'm really trying to kind of make this so that I have a filled in geometrical space, not touching another filled in geometrical space because I really want to leave that blue background between my design spaces just to like have that blue be a little bit more prominent in my painting. And so all I'm doing in this area is making flowers. So I'm making polka dot flowers. I make them little of the flower a little thicker and then I go around it with thinner polka dots but just gonna fill it up with that.
Um, then I'm going to go to my corner and I'm going to add in a flower petal just like the henna flowers that we have been spending the past three weeks learning how to make. And I'm going to make this flower again on another space. Make it so that you can see the whole flower. And I'm going to put leaves around it, kind of like we did on our last painting. Just grow it from the middle out. And now I'm going to go to another area. I kind of wanted to add a little bit of a geometrical feel to this space. So I'm making um, a chevron design and filling it with polka dots in the middle. Um, just because I wanted, since be with the tape and we have those like geometrical shapes, I wanted to leave a bit of geometrical feel to it and not just have a lot of flowery, curvy lines. Um, I'm going to go up to the next corner now and I'm going to make another one of those flowers. If you guys can't tell, I really love these flowers. They're just such an easy design and you can build them in different ways and grow them out differently so that they look different, but the basis is still the same. So I just, I love those flowers. And I'm going to go up to another space and I'm going to do swirls. Um, we had learned swirls with the first henna design we ever did. 
and I don't think it's brought them back, but I'm gonna fill it in with that. And then the painting felt a little empty to me, so I'm gonna go to those plain blue areas and just add polka dots on random edges to try to tie the painting together as a whole. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. This is a totally different type of painting than what I normally do, but it was definitely fun to try out a new style and a new look. I hope you guys had fun with it. Again, take pictures of what you ended up making and send them into the library because I would love to see what you guys end up with. Um, but this week was super fun for me. I hope you guys had fun and I can't wait to see you next week where we will be doing our last two sessions of henna at a difficult level so I hope you guys come prepared for a challenge because I'm definitely looking forward to what I have planned for you guys. So, 